Hello, I'm Bernie Hately. I'm Nicole Clinton. Today we are here in Stormick Buildings with Mr. William Hay, the Speaker of the Assembly. First of all, how would you like to be addressed during this interview? As Speaker. Why did you support the one campaign? Well, I, I think it's important from, from a number of, of, of reasons. Uh, I think it is important that as far as possible here within the Assembly uh, that we are seen to be supporting the youth. And um, we have had quite a number of meetings of the of, of, of youth meetings here. In fact, we had a very successful one that was taken forward by the two junior ministers here, and that took place within the Assembly. And I think that added uh, to the whole awareness that we need to be looking and taking forward debates that are of our interest to our young people and especially to our youth that is out there. Now, we have had one as well concerning the whole European Parliament. We had the President of the European Parliament here today. Uh, we have had a number of other youth debates that have been ongoing. All of it has been very successful and we have had some chaired by myself uh, and we had uh, some chaired also by the by our deputy speakers. I think it's, it's to add all to what uh, this assembly needs to be doing. It's all about how do we, I suppose, link in uh, to the wider youth that's out there across Northern Ireland. But I think we, as public representatives, need to be listening uh, rather than dictating to our young people. And I have to say, we have this habit of, of continually dictating uh, to our young people. We need to get away from that and we need to listen to them and what their voice in all of this is. Do you feel that the Youth Assembly is still relevant today, one year after the one away campaign? Oh, it is uh, very, very much so. And uh, we have various departments taking forward a number of areas uh, within getting to a point where hopefully we can have a Youth Assembly here. And we have the Education Department taking forward some areas. We have the two junior ministers taking forward some areas of all of that and of course my own office uh, trying to coordinate it all and trying to get it to a point where we do uh, have a youth assembly set up here but I often say to people it's not a matter of saying let's have a youth assembly we have to find out how to service that youth assembly uh, where does the resources come from but in saying all of that and I think looking at other models that are out there but getting to a point where hopefully we can have a youth assembly that's productive most of all a youth assembly that can feed into the business of the whole assembly uh, because I don't think a youth assembly should sit in isolation to the work that we are doing here within an assembly. Uh, I think it has to be a partnership if it is to work uh, but I think we will get there uh, and I've said this is a responsibility basically of the two junior ministers and certainly when there was an initial talk about setting up a, a youth assembly uh, I was quite happy to look to see what role this office could play in all of that. But I think uh, it's a useful concept. I think it's just trying to move it on, but getting the right model that works out there for everybody.